welcome or welcome back let's learn about directions and maps let's try this stand in two rows in the classroom facing each other now tell the answers to the following questions to a friend standing in front of you on which side of you is the blackboard on which side of you is the main door of the classroom on which side of you is the teacher's table you will come to know that your answers and the answers of your friend facing you are different for example if the blackboard is to your right it will be to the left of your friend facing you it is difficult to understand the location of an object based on answers like on the right on the left in front of or behind now let's try this Stand again in two rows in the classroom facing each other. Write the names of the four main directions on the walls of classroom with the help of teacher. Now, tell each other the direction in which the blackboard, the main door of classroom and the teacher's table are located. You will come to know that your answers and the answers of your friends facing you are the same. For example, the blackboard will be to the north for you as well as for your friend facing you. It is easy to understand the location of an object with the help of directions. Now let's learn how to find the directions. The four main directions are east, west, north and south. How do we find them? The direction in which the sun rises is the east. The direction in which the sun sets is the west. East and west are opposite to each other. If we stand facing east, the west is behind us. At that time, the north is to our left and the south is to our right. Now let's frame this. A large frame is given below. Your house is at the center of the frame. The frame has a yellow strip on each of its four sides for writing the directions. On which side of your house does the sun rise? That side is the east. In the yellow strip on the side of the house where the sun rises, write east. In the strip on the side opposite to the east, write west. North and south will be written in the remaining two strips. Think carefully where they would be and write down the words in the proper strips. Do you know the sun rises and sets every day? That is why the sun is used to determine directions. The magnetic needle in a compass always lies in the north-south direction. Now let's solve this. In this picture, the east is marked. Use that to write the other three directions in the yellow boxes. In which direction do we travel to go from the ice cream shop to the bus stop? West to east. Amir wants to go to the ice cream shop. In which direction must he walk? East to West. Sara wants to go to the bus stop. In which direction must she go? Towards South. Let's see the use of directions in maps. In a map, directions are always shown. They are indicated with the help of an arrow pointing North. The directions on the map have to be matched with the directions on the ground before reading the map. That is, the map must be aligned with the directions on the ground. For example, the east on the map must be matched to the east of your surroundings. By doing this, you can tell at once the directions of the places shown on a map. Use this method while reading the maps in your textbook too. Let's learn about district, state and country. India is my country. We have been reading this sentence in the pledge ever since standard 1. You must have read the word state nation and world. In this textbook too, you will find the words earth, world, country, state, district, taluka and village in many places. Come, let us get to know district, state, country, the earth and world. We live in a house. Our houses are built on land. This land is spread very far and wide. A vast section of land on the earth is called a continent. Like continents, salt water too occupies the surface of the earth. This part is called ocean. The earth is also called the world. There are many countries on the land on the earth. The countries are made up of several states. 
we live in the state of Maharashtra. Our country, India, is made up of many such states. Maps of your district, Maharashtra state, India and the world have been given in this lesson. Complete the activities based on the map. Do you know symbols, pictures, signs and different shades of colors are used to present the information in a map? A list of these symbols etc. is given along with the map. This list is called the index. The index helps us to understand the map. This is the map of our country. Find our Maharashtra state on the map of our country and color it. In the map of the world given, color the part labeled India. Color the box next to the map in the same color and write India on the dotted line. Let's try one more activity. You can use an old CD, cardboard strips or ice cream stick to show the four main directions. You can even draw the rising sun. Always remember, we made use of the rising sun to determine direction. Other components of nature can also be of help to us. Thank you and please like, share and subscribe.